Morning, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for a much-anticipated main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Well, we went over the rules in the dressing room. You have any questions? Round one of 12. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it and are able to do it throughout the whole fight and go the distance. What's the mental makeup of a guy like that? Confidence. He's been there before. He's sure that he can do it. Place counter punch by Dynamite. Had his target in mind, but just missed. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Blocks it away. Nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. with that headshot. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Would you rather have a fighter who's feared or a fighter who's fearless? I feel like I'm talking to Sonny from the Bronx tail, but I think that I would rather have a guy that has fear because he's going to be smart all the time. He's going to be a guy that's going to be aware of things that you need to be aware of. If he's so-called fearless, he's going to walk into all kinds of things that are not going to allow him to be a fighter. Nice two-punch combo by White. See an issue there, didn't land that straight right hand. Oh, look at that. They exchange hooks. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. They both decide to bring it. Devastating blow by White. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a non-stop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Able to counter that attack. his opponent's shots and then comes back with an uppercut. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by 
White. Solid counter punch by White. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by White. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Halfway through this round here. And once again, he returns fire up top. He comes back with the left hand again. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards. But he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. He missed that uppercut. Throws a counter punch there. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Bad intentions is being so very effective. Punching in combination. And yeah, that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. And what a clever combination by White. How about that four-punch combination? Wow! Saved by the bell! That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath. <laughs> Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Back upstairs he goes. Bad intentions is strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Chin, can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy, so you figure that that's a good thing, that's an encouraging thing. This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. On the mark, the counter punch by White. <laughs> and clicks of the talk. of the round 
round here, a round that saw a lot of action, the kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Blocks that punch. Good block there by Dynamite. Concentrating on the body as a target here, Teddy. No, and you know, you wouldn't mind if he didn't have to. In other words, it all depends on the scenario. This scenario says that he should be going to the body and he should recognize that. And that's part of the talent of a fighter, recognition, that you have to recognize where the opportunities are. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Showing you some defense there with the block. And a sharp counterpunch by White. White's cheek is ripped open right there. You can see the cut. Now that's some fine work right there by White. Stuff in the opening two minutes, a minute to go in this round. Good way to protect the midsection. Dynamite's cheek is cut, you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. As I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Blocks the headshot. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. There he goes with the right hand again. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Nice strike after catching one by White. Oh, wow! White's on the canvas. He goes down. Our first knockdown of this fight. One, two, three.
three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Bad intentions is staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. White's opponent is saying to himself, I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very judicious with his work. Yeah, and that's not by accident. You know, that's his temperament. And he has that kind of temperament. If you went out with the guy, you talk to the guy, you know, he thinks before he says things. He doesn't just, you know, let his mouth go. He doesn't just let his hands go. He lets them go when he thinks he should. Good counter punch by White. Double jab by Dynamite. Targeting that head with the combination punching. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown that's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point but not for your guy that scored the knockdown for the other guy because sometimes when you score a knockdown you start to think it's going to be an easy night and you forget what you knew when you came in that wasn't going to be an easy night you're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed and it's important to remember that So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. by bad intentions. Intentions is showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways I tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of the fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? Oh, and there you go. White's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Come on, keep busy, guys. Come on now. Come on, come on. Keep... A barrage of punches now. And now you're seeing the beard that this guy possesses because he went from stunned and damaged to staying right upright. Oh, this is like Santa Claus's beard. I'm telling you right now. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. 
He's completely turned his offense off. You can see that he's just in an extreme defensive posture. But still, his opponent is scoring here. Look, the extreme defensive posture is a problem. But if he was moving his head with his hands up, at least there'd be misses there. When his opponent would miss, there'd be an opening to come back where even if you didn't come back, his opponent would be a little worried about sitting in there on you. He'd have to think defense. Right now, he's only thinking offense. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. with the jab on the outside. Dynamite's getting caught with headshots. But Teddy, to me, this is pretty simple. Move your head. Otherwise, the other guy will. And he's been moving his head for him all night. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by White. Not able to land the headshot. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it, back and forth, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, punch for punch. Good work doubling up that jab by Dynamite. Punch by White. White's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. Nice block by White. Targeted counterpunch by Dynamite. Dynamite's now pushing away a bit. He's creating some space. There it is! A big body shot! And he scores again. the round is upon us and if the next round holds up like that we're going to be in for a real treat no we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense here as we start this round. I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Blocks away that headshot. White's in a real tough spot now. 
There's no doubt about it that the eye has worsened. That putt is really looking ugly right here. What does he have to think about right now? Is it time to just take the realization that, hey, this fight could end at any moment? Yeah, well, there's two things to that. First of all, the cut man's done his job. He's put the coagulants in there. Now he has to give them time to work. He's got to be elusive. He can't get hit on it for a little while. But also, he has to find a way for offense to stem the tide to keep the opponent from just walking right in. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. away there it is white's legs look shaky right, he was on, hurt work it out, he's having work a it out. much he's better a round here. here earlier we saw him being at work but right now on, he's the one guys come on now yeah, come well on, come you on. know come. you go out to a restaurant you have a half dozen half shell clams you might get a tummy ache well he's been eating a lot of left hooks I don't know if he has a tummy ache, but he figures right about now he wants to get rid of that indigestion. And the best way, start attacking. is underway of course in that last round it was fairly one-sided he was hit pretty hard and now he has to overcome that here yeah you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that I mean everybody saw you know he got staggered his knees buckled did a little dance there but what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately see not just one jab he throws that second one right behind it A hook for you, and a hook right back. What a good counter punch by White. White's opponent has to take advantage of this situation. He damaged his man earlier, but now he's going up against a guy who's just weakening. Yeah, he is, and now we're going to find out what kind of finisher he is. Yeah, everybody's going to say, yeah, he's got control of the fight, but does he take it to the next point? Does he get rid of this guy? That's what the network... There it is! White's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. No holding! That's a good block by bad intentions. Lands the counter. to go 
in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Wow, is he defensively sound. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here this fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts it's kind of like going and watching that home run contest nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles you know they're all going for the fences start of this round which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight one of those fights that's going to be very hard to score good block there by dynamite Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five, six. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Jane scoring well with the right hand. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chin, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Well, this isn't a bad form of defense. You know who did it to you, so stay. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Dynamite's going to be partying tonight. A knockout victory. It doesn't get better than that. He's your winner by knockout victory. I feel like I just came out of the movie theater, show, and I did not expect that ending. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.